you need good music system. I know okay. you like your music as well. You need good music system. And you need a car that you can kind of live in. You know, if there's anything that annoys you, you know, like for me, a hurricane, I like <laughs> I'd be driving like this the whole time. Like so you, those two things, a good sound system and something that you can live in, immediately discounts all Lamborghinis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Lambos are out. <laughs> discount Lamborghini from the hunt when it comes to my next supercar. You just can't. can't I'm it. here with Phil who runs the Lamborghini Chelmsford site which is part of the Grange network. I visited you the end of last year yep. when we were talking about Lamborghini finance and last week I tested 720S and DBS, two very very different cars but both good at potential road trip vehicles. I believe Regardless of what Sam said, I am in the best road trip car right now. The brand new Lamborghini Hurricane Eva. Yes, I've driven this car many a time. I've never considered buying one until now. Because in my eyes, this has got all of the benefits of a Performante, but is a comfier version of it. Yep. Now, you have spent so much time behind the wheel of all of these cars. And whilst the Performante is a track-focused, hardcore version of the original Hurricane, this having had a little bit more development and a few years ahead of those cars, like I can't help but think, sitting in this car now, even in Strada mode, four wheel steer, LDVI down here, the new updated screen, everything is designed to make this a more pleasant experience to drive. A usable car. A more usable car. And that's exactly what I need. Four wheel drive as well. I think I'm gonna be going up into the Arctic Circle at some point in 2020, like this, Will work on snow? I'm sure it will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but we've got dry weather, a naturally aspirated V10. I know you're biased. You're going to say, like, you've got to go with a Lambo. I've obviously got a McLaren Hitch, and I love the Aston Martin brand, which is why I'm so excited about testing all three of these cars. But there is something. <laughs> that you get from a Lambo that you don't get from anyone else. <laughs> like you just end up smiling. Yeah. And downshifting. <laughs> There's no other sound like that. No. I mean, they're both good. They all tick different boxes. DBS, you've got good luggage space. It's an ultimate GT car, really. Like, I can bomb and do the miles in it. Yeah. But it might be a little well, bit boring. So, my opinion on DBS, yeah. uh, McLaren, beautiful car to look at. The Aston Martin visually stunning. Yeah. Great car. Um, however, it doesn't have the soul. Right. And for me, when it comes down to Lamborghini, the naturally aspirated engine, yeah. it's in the DNA. It's the blood. It's the lifeline of the car. Yeah. You know, the sounds that this car makes and the performance and the way it controls itself around a track, around standard roads in Corsa, Strada, Sport, is unlike any other car on the market. Yeah. The 720S is faster than a Hurricane Evo on paper. Yes. And probably would destroy it around a track as well. But for me, there's something messing when you get behind the wheel of the 720S that I don't think people have really been able to put their finger on what it is. Because performance-wise, bang for your buck, you can get a 720S for 150 grand now. And when you put that up against the Performante at 170, 180, yeah. I think most people would probably lean towards 720S. But the one thing that I think has benefited Lamborghini over the years is the fact that it has Audi and VW through and through yeah. that enables it to become a little bit more reliable, 
also makes it that much more usable and in a way more sensible and I know that that should not be a word associated with Lamborghini but in a way like it can be sensible can. you can drive it like an Audi A3 yeah. around town obviously you've got the aggressive looks and the V10 will just be sitting there ready and waiting to go and almost be like just knocking on your yeah, let me rear out. window there going come on <laughs> can you use me uh, but it has the potential with that split personality of being usable when you need it to be and my plan is I'm probably going to be doing the most miles I've ever done in any of my cars in yeah. this car and I think something like a Hurricane Evo can take it better than a Performante. Yeah, I, I agree with, with the new LDVI system. Yeah. Um, also with the rear-wheel drive option soon to, to yeah. hit. Um, yeah. There's choices. Very much so. One choice that isn't a Hurricane is the Urus. Now this is an SSUV, super sports SUV. It's got the Lamborghini badge, it's got the soul. It could be the answer to all of my prayers. It's got the practicality. I could literally have three or four friends with me, helping me film, taking photos, and have all of our equipment in the car with us. This has got the lousiest front boot ever that would just about fit one of my suitcases in. So I'd be a little bit worried about taking this on a massive road trip because of the amount of space that yeah. I have in this. Can we go and drive a Urus? Do you have a Urus at Chelsea? Yes, we do, yeah. Let's go, get this Urus. The Hurricane is now number one, but I want to test the Urus just to make sure that I'm not making a massive mistake. Because I think I've done a Hurricane, I've done the Gallardo, I've done the Mercy Largo. If I go and buy another Hurricane, I kind of feel like I want to explore more of the Lamborghini range. Yeah. Onwards to the Urus, I think. Okay. Hurricane Evo drive done. We're now back at Bentley Lamborghini Chelmsford. And I'm not the biggest fan of the spec of this car, but it doesn't matter because obviously, if I was to go down the Hurricane Evo route, I just wouldn't buy that one. They've got the Aventador S here that I filmed that was so cheap on monthly payments in the finance video that I did at the beginning, no, sorry, the end of 2019. And this is the Lamborghini Urus demonstrator that we're gonna be driving. It is all black. It's got white stitching inside. It's beautiful. And it's got the exterior carbon package. Look how much carbon is all over this car. Wheel arches, side skirts, wing mirrors, carbon everywhere. It's got the really nice wheels. I love this spec, all blacked out. And then check out the inside of this car because it is getting windy as well. Look, carbon inside, white stitching. This, to me, is as good as it gets with the Lamborghini Urus. I cannot wait to drive this. I've literally spent some time not that long ago in one of these in Dubai that had a much less spec than this. And Bang & Olufsen some sound system. So Sam, you were saying that I need a good sound system. This is the car that I could potentially be buying for all of my road trips this year. I think it's a good one. I think it's a good option. And then you got the brakes as well to put it back in. Thanks for the close-up. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should be holding on. <laughs> oh my god, like the steering and it's feedback. So responsive. It is. For a car this size, it's just it kind of does defy the laws of physics of what is supposed to be possible on a car this size and that weighs this much because it's over two tons, right? Yeah. It is quite it a is heavy. Heavy car. Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, the sense of speed is it is heightened when you've got trees whizzing past you about two feet away. Like country roads in this thing are phenomenal. I know this car performs well in the desert, therefore it should be able to perform well in the snow. We know that going into the Arctic Circle is something I'm going to be doing. 
this is probably designed better for long distance road trips. It's got a bang and Olufsen sound system. This is as livable as it gets for a Lamborghini. So, Sam, I don't think you're watching this video, but I'm gonna say it anyway, like, he's discounted a car that fundamentally is the best road trip Lamborghini in existence. Behind us are two very different specs. Hurricane Evo Spider, I saw this last time, yep. which is actually satin white. Satin white finish. It's not yeah. been satin no, yet. Bianco faint. But this is a bit of me. That's my creation. That's what you've spent. Yes, it's it just is. arrived, right? Yeah, it has, yeah. It's been here just over two days. Ah, um, oh, look at it. Purple with yellow details. It looks. What's the colour? Um, the colour is Viola Pacifo. Ah, okay. Brilliant. But it looks so good with these wheels and the yellow calipers. Yellow stitching and piping inside as well. I mean, talk about a summer road trip supercar. This is one. This is this is exactly where I'd be coming. We've got a very nice selection of V10s and V12s there as well. Uh, but I thought that I should finish the video taking a look at this car. Phil, thank you very much for allowing me to drive the uh, Evo and the Urus. I've definitely got some things to think about. Um, but all in all, it's just an excuse to drive Lamborghinis at the end of the day. Good to see Thanks you. Coming. Let's see what happens next now that I've driven DBS 720S, Urus, and Hurricane Evo. Let me know what you think I should buy, or if I'm missing any car that could potentially be the perfect road trip supercar. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I will see you soon. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I haven't done this outro in quite a while, but I'll see you soon. Take care, goodbye.